instead to launch the Alliance Arts and Business Awards. These awards celebrate the best in partnership between the arts and the private sector in Northern Ireland. We're very proud of our association with arts and business and in particular these awards which celebrate collaborations between arts and business organisations across the province. It's again a very strong year, we're very excited about it. It's very difficult to demark between certain entrants because they are all so good and so strong, showcasing both the arts organisations and the business. And that's the aim of the whole objective. The Alliance Arts and Business Community Art Prize, um, fantastic process. The applications were submitted by staff and selected by the Corporate Citizenship Committee. Um, there was a great deal of discussion during the selection process and we were very much looking forward to seeing the winner of the £2,000 on the night. Secretary, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Allianz Arts and Business Awards 2015. Here in this beautiful building that has seen many creative moments, we again celebrate the rich legacy of Northern Ireland's creative sector. I would ask the business leaders here tonight to continue to invest in the arts, to continue to help enrich Northern Ireland culturally and economically. Together you have achieved much and I believe together there is so much more to achieve. And if there's one thing that the Alliance Arts and Business um, NI Awards show us, it is that the arts matter. At Arts and Business NI, we also advocate that if we truly value the arts and its role in our society and economy, then public investment and private funding need to go hand in hand. And that leads me to the key theme of what I want to say this evening, that we need to find more ways to work together collaboratively. It's important to spread the word then, that the arts and culture are not something that's removed from everyday, ordinary daily life. They must be something that is seen as an essential and vibrant part of our existence. And the winner of our first award, the Alliance Arts and Business NI Corporate Responsibility Award, Burke Shipping Group and C21 Theatre Company. That's a good result for you too, isn't it? Value for money, will you be coming back? Oh, certainly, yeah, but we'll definitely come back and <laughs> ease my arm up the back already, you know. So, no, definitely, it's it's worthwhile. It's it, it's not about getting your name out there, but what it's about, it's about helping young people. That's what it really is all about. And the winner of the Alliance Arts and Business NI New Sponsor Award, HSS Hire Service Group and Cathedral Quarter Trust Culture Night Belfast. <laughs> It's, it's just a lovely project and again as I said it's, it's a thing which makes the city better, makes people feel connected and that sort of feel good factor everybody benefits for. And the winner of the Alliance Arts and Business NI Cultural Branding Award, Translink and Cahoots NI. Oh, I'm absolutely delighted, thank you very much. <laughs> Um, the response and the feedback we've had demonstrates that it made them think about safety in a way that it's, it's actually their responsibility as well as ours. And the winner of the Alliance Arts and Business NI Sustained Partnership Award, JTI and the Ulster Orchestra. Whole infrastructure, uh, our educational work, our uh, reaching out to the community, uh, almost all of that has been made possible by JTI. And the winner of the Northern Ireland uh, Employee Engagement Award, AES Northern Ireland and Arthur Cox and Cinemagic and Stephen Beggs. Uh, a big challenge, a lot of input from all of the participants. Uh, but the outcome was so stunningly successful. The Alliance Arts and Business NI Arts Board Member of the Year is Chris Bailey with Prime Cut Productions. This has been an amazing asset to Prime Cut, the kind of chair that you dream of, to be honest with you. There are 
three other nominations here tonight. Um, there are some 300 other arts organisations in Northern Ireland. The unsung heroes that quietly and diligently basically keep the arts machine working. Our next award tonight is the Alliance Arts and Business NI Community Art Prize. And the winner is the Welcome Organisation. It actually matters in so many ways, not only in terms of the financial contribution, which will help us take it to the next level, but to have been nominated by Alliance staff is wonderful. And the winner of the Alliance Arts and Business NI Business of the Year Award, AES Northern Ireland. I have not seen this type of partnership before between business and arts, and I think it's something that is incredibly innovative and is helping to really tap into, for our people at AES, who are driven by an entrepreneurial culture and a values-based culture of just taking it to a different level and finding ways of connecting and communicating. And the winner of the Arts and Business NI Arts Award is Culture Tech. From our perspective, we've just gone out to get as many partners as we can from day one. Um, we just finished our third year now. We had over 40,000 people turn up, and that was because we had 134 partner organizations who provided funding or content. And um, congratulations to Culture Tech and to AES and to all our winners, and indeed everybody in the shortlist. Um, There's a fantastic uh, standard of entries once again, and we were really delighted. But what I would like to say to all the businesses that are here is firstly, thank you. Thank you on behalf of the arts for um, your investment in our great sector. Mm -hmm.